No. It was the winter of our discontent. Made glorious summer by the sun of York. And all the clouds that lord upon our house in the deep bosom of the ocean buried. Now are our brows bound with victorious wreaths. Our bruised arms hung up for monuments. Our stern alarums changed to merry greetings. Our dreadful marches to delightful measures. Grim visaged war had smoothed his wrinkled front. And now, instead of mounting barbed steeds to fight the souls of fearful adversaries, he capers uh, nimbly uh, in a lady's chamber to the lascivious, pleasing tune of a lute. But I, that am not shaped for a sport of tricks. No, not made to count or court an amorous looking glass. Not I. I, that am rudely stamped and want love's majesty to strut before a wanton ambling nymph me I that am curtailed of this fair proportion cheated of feature by dissembling nature Deformed, unfinished, sent, scarce half made into this world. Uh, the dogs bark at me when I take rest among them. I I, in this weak, piping time of peace, have no delight to pass away the time. Unless to spy my shadow in the sun and descant on mine own deformity. Hey. And therefore, since I cannot prove a lover, to entertain these farewell-spoken days, I am determined to prove a villain. I am determined to prove a villain and hate the idle pleasures of these days. Plots I have laid down, inductions dangerous by drunken prophecies, libels and dreams, to set my brother, Clarence, and the king in deadly hate, the one against the other. And if King Edward be as true and just as I am subtle, false, and treacherous, this day should Clarence closely be mewed. about a prophecy which says that of King Edward's heirs the murderer shall be dive dive thoughts down to my soul cause here Clarence comes <laughs> <laughs>